Niemer, a top manufacturer of wheeled military vehicles, has revealed an improved version of its long-range special operations vehicle, LRSOV, at the International Defense Exhibition and Conference, IDEX 2023. The LRSOV was initially introduced at the Abu Dhabi IDEX 2015 and later showcased at the Egypt Defense Expo in Cairo in 2018. This new vehicle is part of the Ajban family, which also includes the Ajban VIP Military Armored Vehicle, Ajban Special Operations Vehicle or SOV, Ajban 450, Ajban 440A, and Ajban Internal Security Vehicle. The updated LRSOV has several enhancements, including a high-strength rollover protection system, underslung capability at the front and rear, an adaptive roof ring mount, and a removable and foldable roof structure for easy transportation. This extremely sturdy and versatile vehicle was specifically designed for use by Special Operations Forces globally and is currently being employed by the United Arab Emirates military. Now let's take a look at the detail of the LRSOV system from EDGE. design and features. The Niemer Ajben LRSOV is built upon a durable, versatile platform that caters to diverse military needs, ranging from basic utility vehicles to fully protected tactical vehicles. It is engineered to perform a variety of tasks, including reconnaissance, search and rescue, and surveillance. The vehicle is designed with a 4x4 four-wheel drive and an open architectural configuration, allowing for a range of customizations to accommodate various mission requirements. Its modular design also enables the addition of extra equipment as necessary. The vehicle structure features a traditional format, with the engine located at the front, the crew section in the center, and the troop section situated at the back. A sizable two-part windshield is placed in front of the crew cab. The LRSOV's crew cabin can hold up to four individuals in its standard seating configuration, with the option to add an extra seat for another crew member if needed. This enables comprehensive situational awareness and self-defense capabilities from the high-mounted heavy machine gun ring and gun mounts at all crew positions. The vehicle has a length of 18.6 feet, width of 7 feet, and operational height of 6.5 feet, with a wheelbase of 11 feet and high ground clearance to allow for easy movement in various terrains. It can operate effectively in extreme weather conditions, ranging from minus 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The vehicle's gross weight is 8.8 .8 tons, with a base weight of 5.5 tons, and has the capacity to carry a maximum payload of 3.3 tons. Due to its modular design and based on Nimr's multi-purpose platform, the LRSOV is highly customizable to meet various mission requirements. This allows for the development of multi-mission variants of the vehicle, which can be adapted for different military uses. Niemer can also develop custom configurations from the base vehicle architecture if necessary. Armament and self-protection features. The Ajman LRSOV is outfitted with multiple weapon mounts situated on the vehicle's hull, capable of holding high-caliber machine guns. A heavy machine gun is centrally mounted on the roof at a high angle to target enemy fortifications with extreme accuracy. Additionally, the vehicle can be armed with automatic grenade launchers and small rifles to enhance its firepower. To improve the vehicle's survivability, the LRSOV can be equipped with optional ballistic and blast protection systems. Additional optional equipment and systems include military-grade battery management systems, night vision equipment, display monitors, blast belly plates, ballistic armor kits, C4 I command control systems, high capacity winches, and personal weapon mounts. Engine and performance. The LRSOV runs on a diesel engine that can produce a maximum power of 296 horsepower at 2,500 RPM. It comes with a six-speed automatic transmission system and can generate a torque of around 1,100 newton meter at the same RPM. The vehicle's mobility is enhanced by several features, including the central tire inflation system, run-flat inserts, double wishbone suspension system, and dual-circuit air-over-hydraulic brake system. 
The LRSOV has a top speed of 68 miles per hour and can travel up to 435 miles at a cruise speed of 62 miles per hour. Additionally, it can be transported to remote mission locations through heavy lift helicopters such as CH-47 Chinook, either as an underslane or internal load. Reconnaissance Capability like its name, the LRSOV is designed for long-range reconnaissance missions and has exceptional off-road performance. The vehicle is lightweight and robust, with the capability to navigate any terrain. The improved LRSOV has a durable rollover protection system, front and rear underslung capability, adaptive roof ring mounting, and a removable and foldable roof structure for easy transportation. Besides can be airlifted by helicopter as mentioned earlier, the vehicle can be adapted to suit various mission requirements as well as equipped with a range of specified equipment. With outstanding off-road capabilities, the LRSOV is ideal for long-range reconnaissance operations typically conducted by special forces. Test and Production after the successful performance of a single golden unit vehicle during various trials and tests, Niemer entered into a new agreement with the leading armored vehicle manufacturer to construct and supply 10 LRSOVs by the end of 2023. Niemer CEO, Abri Duplessis, expressed his satisfaction with the display of their latest LRSOV model at IDEX 2023, as they continue to modernize their vehicle range to meet changing operational needs. He also highlighted the recent deal with their partners in Algeria, which demonstrates the quality and performance of their LRSOV, as well as their commitment to increasing national exports, as directed by the United Arab Emirates leadership. The upgraded LRSOV is light, powerful, and agile, capable of traversing all terrains. It is expected to meet the operational needs of the Algerian land forces while enhancing their defense capabilities. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.